Hi guys, welcome to Japan Travel Guide. I'm Hiro from Japan. Today, I'd like to introduce to you all some of the best gourmet food in Kyoto. I used to live in Kyoto when I was a college student, so I knew a lot about it. Let's take a quick look. First of all, here is Nishiki Market. Let's go in immediately. Whoa, it's very crowded. Located in Kyoto's busiest downtown area, this market is now crowded with young Japanese and foreign tourists, making it a bit of a festival atmosphere. This store is Terakoya Honpo. They have a popular rice snack called Nure Okaki. I tried the white miso flavor. Generally, Okaki, the traditional Japanese rice crackers, are baked hard, but nure okaki are chewy on the inside, and the soy sauce and the miso paste are rich and delicious. This gorgeous store is Hamuhide. The shrimp stores they grill in the store are very popular. Three shrimps are about 20 centimeters long. They are simply boiled in salt, but very satisfying. Next, here is Toritoyo. They've been a chicken and river fish store in Nishiki Market for 90 years. Amazing, isn't it? In Japan, duck is mainly eaten in inland areas and is one of the most popular food in Kyoto. Hmm, the taste of duck is rich and delicious. Now, it's time to eat some sweets. Let's go to Konnamonja that offers tofu and yuba sweets. Soy milk donuts are being fried. It's interesting that you can see it just in front of you. I tried the soy milk donut with mascarpone cheese topping. The donut is so fluffy and goes well with the crunchy nuts. It was delicious with coffee and I recommend it. Let's keep going. This is Yamasho. These are skewers of baby skate. The skate is so soft and has a strong flavor. The texture is also good as the egg pops. You've eaten seafood. Don't you want to drink? Oh, look at this. The first glass of sake is 100 yen. How cheap. This is a small food court with many stalls. Here comes the sake. Sake is made from rice and tastes a bit like white wine, so I think many people can enjoy it. This store is Nishiki Woriki. Look at this big sea eel tempura. Sea eels have long been a favorite food in Kyoto. The center of Kyoto does not face the sea, which is why it used to be difficult to eat seafood there. However, sea eels were very vigorous and could be transported to Kyoto fresh, which is why sea eels cuisine has been a favorite in Kyoto. It's a very tender white fish with a delicious flavor. After all this food, I was full, but there are still other stores. Please look around and see what kind of delicious food. In the next section, I will introduce some restaurants here and there in Kyoto. This is Yubasho. It's located near Kyoto Station. Yuba, like tofu, it's made from soybeans. Tofu is commonly eaten at home, whereas yuba is slightly higher quality ingredient that is mainly served at Japanese restaurants. I bought soy milk ice cream. Hmm, it's not too sweet, and you can taste the richness of the soy milk and the flavor of yuba. 
Let me introduce one more Japanese style sweet. This is Fumiya. It's located near Ginkakuji Temple and sells rice grown in the northern part of Kyoto. I bought Ginkaku mochi with miso paste. The rice cake is very fine and chewy. The aftertaste has a nice azuki aroma. Well, here is a small cute restaurant, Kashiwai, near Shimogamo Shrine. The interior of the restaurant is relaxing, a modern Kyoto restaurant. I came here for breakfast. Wow, look at the cute sushi! This is tuna. Besides the taste of the sauce and tuna, it's accented with a little aromatic condiment. The combination of the three flavors is so delicious. Next is sea bream. It's cured with kombu. The gentle taste of the sea bream and the aroma of yuzu are so good. And the conger eel. The meat is quite firm and filling. The aroma of sancho is Kyoto-like. All 10 kinds are delicious, and it's hard to say which is better. Finally, this miso soup. I knew it was delicious the moment I opened the lid. It was very fragrant, and the miso had a deep flavor. The next restaurant is Junsei, a yudofu restaurant located near Nanzenji Temple. Yudofu was originally Buddhist cuisine and is a specialty of Nanzenji Temple. In Kyoto, high quality groundwater has been assembled from wells to make delicious tofu for a long time. Now, the entrance to the restaurant has a very prestigious atmosphere. The huge Japanese style courtyard is amazing, like a sightseeing spot. The inside of the restaurant is of course very beautiful. I decided to have the most expensive snow course. First, homemade soy milk. It's smooth, but you can taste the tofu flavor. Here are the appetizers. Each is cute and cute-like. Now, the yudo has warmed up. Each one is quite large. Hmm. The sauce is sweet. It tastes as if only the best part of the tofu have been gathered together. There's a lot in it, so you can enjoy it to the fullest. Next, sea bream rice. Sea bream is in season in spring. Hmm, this is the taste of Kyoto. It's not seasoned strongly, but the dashi broth is fragrant. I really like this flavor. This tempura is seasoned with salt. The vegetables are cut into large pieces, so you can enjoy the flavor of the vegetables. This is miso dengaku. It's very sticky, and the thick miso paste gives it a strong impact. Hmm, it's also good with mustard to give it an oden-like flavor. There is more to come. This is sashimi of sea bream. Put it in your mouth, and the taste spreads after a while. Mmm, delicious. The tuna is cut in blocks and is very satisfying. The last one is grilled yuba. The ponzu, soy sauce with citrus juice, adds a bit of sourness and enhances the savory flavor of the grilled yuba. So, that was the snow course. There was a lot of food. Next, here is Robin in Pontocho, downtown Kyoto. Please note that it's a narrow street, so if you eat too much, you won't be able to get through on your way back. This restaurant overlooks the Kamori Bar, and in May and September, they also offer no ryoyuka, a traditional Japanese style barbecue. This is wine made with rice. At first, it has a fruity wine taste, but aftertaste is like a sake. It's very delicious. Appetizers include bay shellfish, 
シラスノリシービーユバフィッシュロウフィッシュボーンクラッカー All of them are very good with wine. This is boiled crab with vinegar. Mmm, it's refreshing, and the umami of the crab is so delicious. And here comes sashimi. Especially, the skate was sweet and crispy. Since we went in fall, they also had matsutake mushrooms and sea eel steamed in a Japanese teapot. It was so flavorful and delicious. I want to eat this every day. The main dish was duck hot pot. It's full of vegetables and includes yuba. The dish was even more delicious with a dash of sancho, which adds a tangy and savory flavor. Finally, I'd like to introduce two restaurants in the basement of Kyoto Station. There are a lot of restaurants and many of them are good. First, here is French Bar Gold. The meat patties that come s as an appetizer are tasty. Wagyu beef carpaccio with torif on top has a nice aroma and the tender meat is very good. This is a dish from Naples, Italy, where the pizza dough is mixed with green liver. Pasta with brew crab in a rich biscuit sauce. The umami of the crab is so rich that I was able to gobble it up. On the other hand, this was a bit sour and lightly seasoned. The seafood is big and satisfying. This is stewed lamb. It has a nice aroma and is very tender. It's also delicious with bread. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Toyote, a restaurant with a long history. Founded in 1897, Toyote is a long established restaurant that has created Kyoto's Western food culture. The prices are reasonable and the locals love it. I've been there many times. The first one is the mushroom potage. The richness of the butter was really thick. The mushroom smells so good and it was so delicious. The famous salad with whole tomatoes. It's slightly cooked, soft, and easy to eat. Let's eat it boldly with a big gulp. Mmm, it's sweet. And here it comes the traditional hamburger steak. A hot hamburger steak with plenty of demi g l a s s a u c e The meat has a deep flavor, and behind the flavor of the sauce, you can imagine the good aroma of the meat glistening. It's insanely delicious. These potatoes are steamed too soft. And the butter soaked into them smells sizzling and delicious. Dessert is pudding. It's a little bit hard when you put a spoon into it, but when you put it in your mouth, it melts away with a sense of richness. There is a long line of people waiting to get in, but this is a restaurant that has made history of Kyoto. So please visit. So, I've introduced some of delicious food in Kyoto. Did you find something you want to try? A map of the restaurants introduced here is included in the description section. Famous temples and shrines nearby are also plotted for your reference. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment with any questions or feedback. If you like videos like this, Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great time in Kyoto. Bye!